This might be the most painful and most cringe segment I've ever done. We're talking about it because unfortunately we have to. It's in the discourse right now. Surprisingly, no other left-leaning people are talking about it, most likely because they don't want to touch this subject with a 50-foot pole, because one, they don't want to be associated with this, and two, uh, they, they might just get canceled for uh, disavowing it. We'll use nice words and say disavowing it. Today, I'm going to introduce you all to Ollie London. Ollie London is a big fan of K-pop, and Ollie London is trans race. Ollie London wants to become Korean, wants to transition from being white to Korean. I'm just gonna say this right now, and I don't care how canceled I get. Trans race isn't a thing. Uh, it's ridiculous. It makes the trans community look bad. Maybe this sounds gatekeepy, but oh my God, does it cringe. And oh my God, does it make the trans community look like literally the attack helicopter meme, but real. It is bizarre. Let's go ahead and watch this video. Message for Dr. Phil, and then being Korean. And just, just take it all in. Hey, Dr. Phil, so I've just completed my transition to look Korean, to look just like Jimin. This, I think, is my final position. Yeah, I think this ratio here should probably be pretty telling of what uh, society's response to this is. The right has been using this as some pretty hardcore am ammunition. For sure. Procedure. So I'm so, so happy to share this with you, even though you're probably going to be so mad at me. Like, I know you're going to go crazy at me uh, the next time you see me. This is also very racist. Can we all agree this is very racist? Guys, they're literally, they got surgery. They got fucking surgery, so they're permanently doing this. Guys. It's not even a joke. They got permanent surgery, so they're constantly doing this. This is Asian face, okay? This is Asian face. Um, you see me just because you told me not to do anything. You told me to love the real me, the love the real Ollie. And uh, I did take your advice for like a year, but then I kind of just uh, changed my mind. So please don't be mad at me, Dr. Phil, but I'm so happy to have transitioned from British to Korean, I'm now gonna be identical to Jimin, even more identical than I already was. So please, please don't be mad at me, Dr. Phil. I hope you like my new eyes. I would love to give you a wink right now, but I can really not even open my eye. So yeah, thanks Dr. Phil. Don't be mad. Don't send me to the ranch as well. This guy is an established troll. Uh, they don't believe they're Korean, much less do they give a shit about Jimin. It doesn't, it really just doesn't matter. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and go right to the being Korean video. All right, we're gonna learn what it's like to go from being white to Korean here. Hey guys, I just wanna take this chance to, um, you know, come out today. Something that's been like on my mind for a long time and I've been very confused about how I identify. I've been very, very confused. And you know, I've seen a lot of other people online that have come out. Hold on, can we look at the comments really quickly? Cause I feel like this might be the one that has a lot of the, a lot of the transphobia in the comments. I never knew you can identify as a race or culture now. I do look Korean now. Please do not disrespect Koreans like that. The funny thing is that Jamin doesn't even have those eyes. Can anybody tell them that Jimin and Korean aren't pronouns? I don't identify as British, proceeds to speak in a British accent. I'm surprised he hasn't changed his name to Ali Saul at this point. People aren't bullying you. They're telling you the right things, bro. Guys, don't donate to him to support his so-called LGBTQ plus Jimin gender. Donate to him so that he can get a therapist. Okay, so far this doesn't seem too bad, but goddamn have the right been using this like crazy. I've been very brave about it and shared their story about how they identify their gender, their pronouns, etc. So, you know, I've taken courage from these incredibly brave um, people and it is Pride Month at the moment. So, you know, I thought this was the best time to do it. Um, you know, and add, add a voice, add strength to the LGBTQ plus I community. Um, so I am gonna come out today and say that I've been transitioning. I've been very unhappy with who I am deep down um, for the last eight years. And I've, you know, I've had like 18 plastic surgeries now. 
and I've just had a facelift, um, a brow lift, a temple lift, an eye surgery, a canthoplasty, um, and my teeth done as well. Um, just these are just part of my transition. Um, and I'm feeling really good. I'm for the first time in my life, I feel beautiful. You know. I'm are the eyebrows real though? Because those are some nice fucking eyebrows. All right. I think we got to throw in a little bit of positivity here. Can we all admit these are some fucking nice eyebrows here? These these eyebrows on fucking fleek, dude. Those are some good ass fucking eyebrows. They're, those are some. Can we, can we all admit? Can we all admit? This motherfucker's got some good eyebrows. Oh God, why so greasy? They do look pretty fucking greasy. Like, they're they're shining, you know? Like, I guess they can't wash their face because the bandages or something? That could be it. I'm looking in the mirror and I love the way I look and uh, feel happy. Um, and I hope people can respect my decision. It's a very tough decision to come out this way. Um, but I am coming out as non-binary. Um, I don't feel I identify as male or female. I just feel like I'm just in the middle. Um, and my pronouns are they, them, Korean, Jimin. Because I know a lot of people don't understand me. Me, but I do identify as Korean. And they, them, and also Jimin, the name of a person who exists. I do look Korean now. I do feel Korean. I don't identify as British, so please don't um, refer to me, any media or anyone online as British, because I, I identify as Korean. That's just my culture. That's my home country. That's exactly how I look now. Um, and I also identify as Jimin. That's my Korean name. But uh, not only that, I just... I, I know it's a little bit confusing for some people. Nobody's ever come out as Jimin or Korean, but um, this is something that you guys know if you've followed my journey for the last eight years. I've really struggled with identity issues, with who I am, you know, with who I am. It's it's a very tough one. So I've finally had the courage. I've undergone my um, racial, uh, can't think of the word, transitional surgery. You know, I've transitioned to a non-binary person they them korean jimin and um i finally have the korean look so I'm well respect they them pronouns of being non-binary but the jimin and korean as pronouns i'm drawing the line there from being let's be honest i'm drawing the line there god this is such a just just a w for the right this right here this right here whether you like it or not is a w for the right this right here is a w for the alt-right and transphobes everywhere this person is just, just baked up a nice, fresh, simmering W and handed it to every transphobe on earth. Just on a silver platter, handed it to a, to a, uh, to every transphobe and conservative on earth. I'm actually really happy. Um, but I just want to say to people, you know, I get so many cool comments online. I just want people to be able to respect my decision and don't be, you know, non-binary phobic or anything just please respect that this is how yeah, i the feel the phobia is a bad, very personal but... decision <laughs> and i've been inspired the tr the transitioning to korean thing is racist and i would argue transphobic as well by the courage of other people other young people that have come out and come out as non-binary or come out in a different way and that's really kind of given me the courage because i think if they can do it so can i so as it's uh, Pride Month, I just wanted to put this out there. I've been very trapped in my body for so long. And, you know, I identify with the Korean culture. I think you're um, just non-binary. I, I speak the language. I have the Korean look now. I think you're just non-binary. And a Korea boo? Is that the term? Korea boo? I think you're literally just non-binary and a Korea boo. You like K-pop. You're non-binary. Just, for starters, get some therapy, okay? Get some therapy for the whole wanting to be Korean thing you got going on. Move to Korea, you know, move to Korea if you can. Get Korean citizenship and move to Korea and embrace your identity as non-binary. But this weird fucking Asian face thing you're doing right now, not only is it hurting... LGBT people, LGBT people everywhere because now you've just given the right a nice sizzling fresh W, uh, you know, just some some high caliber ammo to use against the LGBT community. Not only that, but you have also 
set yourself up for probably a pretty miserable life of bullying and harassment on top of that. Now I look completely Korean. If you didn't know who I was, you would just think I was a Korean person. Not a man or a woman, just a person. Um, and, you know, people might think, oh, he, I'm such a joke. But you know what, guys? You don't understand. If you're trapped in the wrong body your whole life, like, you don't understand. Um, I haven't been trapped in this body my whole life, but it's been the last eight years. And it's been very tough. I've been very confused. And I've had so many people online bully me about my looks, uh, my love of Jimin, my love of Korea. And people just don't get it. And no one's done this before, but I just want to take the brave step to you know, do this because I'm sure there's many other young people out there that do identify as Korean or maybe as Japanese and they don't have the strength or courage or they don't know the words how to express this. And it's a, it's a very, very tough thing. And I'm, you know, I don't want to receive any backlash for this because this is a very personal thing to share. You guys, Bullshit. like... Bullshit, you know you're going to uh, get backlash. You know, people online, like YouTubers, they always say, oh, he does things for attention. Like, nobody would do this for attention. Nobody would go through this much pain this much suffering. I've had 18 surgeries in total. I don't know what this person's backstory is, but like the amount, like they've spent a lot of money and gone through a lot of surgeries to, to, to look like this. And I, if this is all a troll for starters, fuck you. If this is a troll, fuck you. If that's the case and a third, fuck you. If you're just trolling, and two, it's a pretty fucking good troll. It's probably the most dedication I've seen to trolling in my entire life, if this is actually a troll. For the last eight years, nobody would do that to themselves for attention. Like, I'm doing this because it's how I identify, it's how I feel. So I just want people to please be respectful in the comments. Please be respectful online. Um, as I said, I'm, I'm non-binary now, so I can be addressed as they, them, Korean, or Jimin. So they slash them slash Jimin slash Korean. Or core slash Ian Korean. Core slash Ian. I'll do the they them, but we're not doing the core Ian or the Jim in, okay? I will kill myself on stream in Roblox before I do that any fucking day. Oh god, chat. Ugh. Um that's how I identify. People might not get it. It's a new concept, whatever. This is how I feel. So please be respective of my pronouns, of my gender identification. And I um, just want to say, Respect I hope this video them. might encourage other young people that have been really struggling with who they are. You know, always, always do what makes you happy in life. This is my message. This is my motto. Be who you want to be. You know, love who you want to love. Be what gender you want to be. Be what person you want to be. You know, I support all the LGBTQI plus question mark um, community and all the people question that identify mark? in different ways. I think it's a very beautiful thing that, you know, in 2021, we can all have these different identities and we can love different people uh, freely. Uh, but it's not the same in every country. So I just want to say some of my fans uh, are in countries where it's not possible to come out as non-binary or to to be themselves and i just want to say please have strength please have courage one day your time will come you'll be able to freely express yourself and uh i will always try my best to give you guys a voice give you guys a platform and be a champion for the non-binary community so i just wanted to put that out there guys like i've done a lot of surgeries now um you know i'm really loving the results already but um i just wanted to put that out there that i now identify as non-binary Using NB and uh, the non-binary identity as a shield against valid criticism of the race thing. Classy. Well, Alphonse Lapulse, this is actually something that's very common among woke scolds. I haven't really, like, railed on woke scolds in a while because I've mostly just not gotten any, into any drama with them. And uh, I have this beautiful add-on on my browser called the one-click block button. It is amazing. Something that I would just do for a while is every time I saw some dumb fuck say some dumb fuck shit on Twitter... I just hit the one button. Just lets me block them just by clicking one button on their tweet. Um, and the other day, Vosh was trending, and I was like, oh boy, I'm about to see a lot of really stupid people here. So I click on it, and every tweet that came up was either from Vosh or people defending Vosh because of whatever drama was happening. And I was like, yeah, that one, blo that one click block button made Twitter actually, uh, you know, kind of bearable. It really did. 
I got all of them almost. Every time some dumb fucks just come up, I just calling it out, making Twitter a bearable site. But uh, yeah, no, woke schools do this a lot too, using um, the non-binary or, or black or trans or whatever identity as a shield against valid criticism quite often. Um, this is something that I think I want to do a little bit more with my stream. I realize that one of the most, that one of the biggest things that pulls people into the alt-right pipeline isn't necessarily conservative content, but the things that conservatives make content about. When a conservative makes a content about this person, it is very hard for a reasonable person even to come out of it who doesn't really know that much about the LGBT community to come out of it in support of the LGBT community if this is what they think the LGBT community is. I want to make more content debunking shit like this or making fun of shit like this to make it very clear to your average person, this is not what the LGBT community is about. This is not what the left is in favor of. The left thinks this is weird, cringy, racist, and just overall fucking ridiculous. So yeah, um, that's, that's my take on this. It is fucking insane is fucking ridiculous uh no trans race is not part of the lgbt community uh it just isn't uh we're not we're not doing that we're not doing we might as well add gamers to the lgbt community might as well make g stand for gamer uh in this case but uh whew. yeah Hey, Xander Hall, what is Ben Shapiro right on? Can't think of anything off the top of my head. He said racism is bad, but he's also racist. But I guess that quote saying racism is bad is true. But I don't know how much he believes it because he said Palestinians eat their own shit. You know, like Ben Shapiro is pretty racist. Anyway, with that said, if you didn't enjoy this video because good Lord... Was this unbearable? Uh, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Ring the bell icon. And I want you to comment down below. Comment what your thoughts are on our friend Ollie London here. I want to hear your thoughts in the comments. Uh, also, make sure to ring the bell icon. Follow my, all my social media and join my fan discord. All the links down below. We do watch parties every Wednesday night of the new episodes of Loki. Uh, we may be doing a watch party of the new Black Widow movie. Uh, maybe tonight. Maybe we'll do it tonight. Would you guys be down for me to do a watch party of the new Black Widow movie in my Discord tonight? If you are, join that fan Discord, guys. Get in there. Uh, on top of that, um, you can support me financially, which I very much appreciate as this is my job. And without your financial contributions, I would not be able to do this for a living. Um, you can donate or subscribe or gift a sub on my website, xanderhall.com forward slash live. We got white names here. You see those white names? Everyone in chat, type one if you're a white name. So the uh, the oilers in chat, the oil barons in my chat can uh, donate kindly donate you a sub and make the chat a little bit less white today. Uh, you guys are going to be trans subbed. I guess you could say. Oh, there, there we go. Zonia right there with it. There you go. Hell yeah. Um, you can also super chat or hit the join button, become a channel member uh, on YouTube or sub prime sub for free or even gift subs in Twitch chat. Thank you all so much for watching and have a good one.